prepared today. We got off to a good start. Um, and us getting off to a good start didn't affect them at all. Um, he called a timeout and got his team reset. And they responded the right way. Uh, and then when they made their run, you know, we stayed close for a little while. Coming out of halftime, we didn't compete at the level that we needed to um, on the glass and certainly defensively to have success against a really good team on the road. Focus has been a, a point of issue for you guys kind of during this last stretch since Big 12 play really began. Have you been able to put your finger on it in any way? Um, not necessarily. Um, there's a lot of factors. Um, they, they, you know, you know, part of it is I've got to do better helping them understand that every night's a battle, like a true grind. And regardless of how you do in the last game, you got to be able to bring that same mindset to the next one. Uh, and obviously, we haven't have not done that. Um, and, and so that it's on me to get it corrected. Uh, and I feel confident that my staff and I uh, will identify ways to finish better here in the next couple of weeks. Coach, how much of an impact did Mitchell Solomon picking up his third foul have on your team? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's our most impactful player. It's not close. Um, you know, it's so telling that, you know, whatever, we're down 20 points in the last minute of that game, and he does what I'm not sure anybody else on the court would do is dive on that ball just because it's the right thing to do because it means that much to him to play the game the right way to commit to giving everything he has. Um, we weren't going to win at that point, uh, but that's, that's how valuable he is. Uh, he's going to do the right things all the time. Uh, so not having him uh, for good chunks of the game, concerned about fouls. We tried to start the second half in the zone to try to protect him a little bit from picking up his third or fourth too quickly. Um, and, and obviously that let them get loose from three point range a little bit. So, um, but yeah, not having Mitch is a big deal at the same time. We've got other players who need to, you know, pick up the slack a little bit when he's not available and we didn't have that today. Fairly fouls all over the place, Seymour McGriff. How, how, just that throughout the game, how did that affect you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough to manage, you know, when, when you, you, know, you look up in the hall three, guys that primarily play inside are in foul trouble. Uh, and, and I thought Lucas gave us a good minutes today, uh, even though he hadn't been playing a whole lot the last couple of weeks. Um, he gave us a good spark, but he doesn't have the same impact as those other guys have. So not having him was a big factor, but it's part of the game. You know, sometimes you get in foul trouble, you got to adjust, and we didn't make the proper adjustments. Does this, does this conference deserve eight bids? Um, yeah, I mean, I said it maybe two months ago now when, when this thing first started. I think I think every team in this league is capable of having success if they get in the tournament. Um, you know, certainly this team that we played tonight is is very good. I, I picked them to win the league uh, with all the experience they had back from the you know NIT team from last year, um, and, and knowing that they would be you know hungry to get into the, to the big show. Um, but yeah, I think this is the most competitive league. Uh, we weren't overly competitive in the second half, but I think it's the most competitive league in the country. And, you know, certainly from a percentage standpoint, probably deserve to have the most teams in of any league. You guys start seven for 10 and then 15 for 50 from there. What changed in your eyes? Uh, I have to go back and really watch the film to, to say that. I try not to make judgments on those type of things, you know, right after the game. Um, certainly TCU has something to do with that. You know, they, they made some adjustments, um, but there was something we just missed. I mean, there were some layups there that we just missed. There were some open threes that, you know, we're capable of making. We haven't made as consistently as I would like, but we've made in some of the games we've won. Um, so there, there are a couple factors, but I, I'd like to watch the film to say exactly before I can give an answer on it, what, what happened. Lindy obviously feeling fine? Yeah, he seemed fine. Um, he didn't play his best, but it had nothing to do with an injury or anything like that. Um, a minor thing, but today Jeff became the 14th player in school history to move into the top 25 in both scoring and rebounding. Just what does that say about the impact he's had during his time at Oklahoma State? I mean, Kent's had a great career. Um, I'm happy for him that, that he accomplished that. It's a tremendous accomplishment. Uh, not very many players, you know, get those type of stats in their career. I certainly never did. I didn't come <laughs> close to either one. So um, you know, I'm happy for him. Obviously disappointed that it came in a game that we lost certainly as the way we lost it, um, but it's a great accomplishment and something that he should be proud of. Texas Tech up next. How do you rebound from this and move into a game like that? It's the same way you do all of them. 
I mean, no matter what, if we won by 20, it'd be the same approach. Um, we have to get back to being um, the competitive team that fights for 40 minutes that we have been from time to time this year through league play, that we were pretty much the role in our conference. And we haven't been able to do that consistently uh, since the league started. And if we don't figure out how to do that, then we'll continue to have you know, bad feelings after games because no, no one feels sorry for us. Texas Tech not coming in here feeling sorry for us. Um, I, I, can't, I don't know how they did today, but they were gone. Uh, you know, whatever. They're, they're fighting for the league championship, right? And so they're going to come in ready to compete and ready to, you know, show that they're the best team in the league, which they've been so far to this point. Coach, you speak about